Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. You will be working on constructions related to rotations and you will be able to complete 10.4. Today, students will be able to rotate a figure using constructions of angles. And so this is what you start with. You have, it says rotate triangle A, B, C by an angle measuring the measurement of angle X, Y, Z about point P. Okay, so this is our point of um, where we're going to be rotating that figure. Now, I'm going to ask you to rotate it. Um, it's going to indicate it. We're going to rotate it clockwise. Okay, that means that the degrees are going to be negative so we can say that this is i already measured it and i'm just gonna sh give you the measurement but it's gonna be 63 negative 63 degrees the rotation that we're gonna take so i'm gonna try to because what i notice is that in some videos they copy using this angle they copy where that point would be placed um and then they do the same thing for B by copying the angle using A as the point. And then again, uh, they do the same thing. So they kind of go back and forth. So what I'm going to show you is kind of like a shortcut um, where you're going to be uh, doing one step for all three points first, the second step for all three points, and the third step for... Um, for all three points and so hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier okay so the first thing that we're gonna do is to draw lines from the point to, to each vertex but I'm gonna ask you to draw or use different colors okay so I'm gonna use for point C C to P is gonna be pink now, I'm going to use green for point A, okay, for line segment AP. I'm going to use green, and I'm going to use blue for point B, okay. So again, very important that you use um different colors if you don't want to make your life difficult um, it's going to help you be get organized basically okay so the first step usually is draw a line then draw an arc okay that's the second step and so we're going to draw an arc again it doesn't matter if i open it or close it a little bit more um, I prefer to make it smaller than the smallest of the three lines. So, and I'm going to create that arc on the angle. That's the second step, to create an arc on the angle. And the same distance from point P, I'm going to do that same arc, but I'm going to go... Oh my goodness. Okay, let me put some more papers underneath. Okay, hopefully that's gonna help. Again, let's see. Mm -mm. Let me make sure to make sure that I use the same measurement. So that's it. There you go. Okay, and you're going to do almost the whole circle. Or you can just do the whole circle, it's okay. Okay, so ignore that little... It kind of opened on me. Okay, so the next step... So step two was to do the arc here and do an arc here. Okay? The third step is to measure how wide this arc is. From one ray where the where the arc intersects one of the rays and the other ray, and so it's this 
you're gonna see how open it is by measuring the arc and you're gonna go to each of the lines and mark it on that arc that it looks almost like a circle and since I put it where the intersection with the pink line is this is gonna be the new line for the pink okay and so draw a line in there now pink so pink was going in this direction with this angle it's gonna go that direction you're gonna do the same thing I already have it opened to the same measurement I'm gonna go fr from the green to the new position of the green okay that's the marking for the green so that's my mark for the green line and I'm going to make the new line so it was there with this angle now it's over there and finally for the blue again from the blue intersection I'm going to go on the arc that looks like a circle and so that's gonna be the point for the blue and so it should be right there so that's the third step okay using the the how wide the arc is and move each of those lines by that width of that arc okay the next step is to measure because I now I, ne I need to figure out okay see on on this pink line my point C is right here where is it in here well to be able to know I need to know how far C is from P so I will measure the distance between P and C and mark it on the pink line and the intersection of the pink line and that little arc is going to be now my C prime I'm going to do the same thing for point A I need to know how far it is from point P so that I can draw the find the distance or the, the place where B prime I mean a prime will be okay it's the green one it's a so a prime how far on the blue line is point B it's that much far from P so I'm gonna draw the same length away from P and so that's the blue that's B prime and now that I have A prime, B prime, and C prime, I know where my new position of that triangle is going to be. So I can connect my points. That's Rocky, my dog. Okay, so what what happened is that is that this was my triangle before. I'm gonna shade it in pink. My new triangle, it's this right here. I'm gonna shade it in blue. Uh, one of my students asked, "What if I did the same thing again?" Well, you will end up with another triangle. You will end up with another triangle in here. And then you can continue to do that several times. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's happening. It's like this and then it's moving that way. Okay, now I'm going to show you the same example, but I'm going to show you a different tactic that one of the students came up with in class and... Um, but before that, somebody else asked me for, OK, 
okay, teacher, can you give us some guidelines so that we can um, remember it? And I said, well, right now you can pause the video and copy that, but the first thing is to draw lines, different colors from point P to each vertex. The second point is to draw arcs first on the angle and then about point P using the same measurement, same measurement. The third one is to measure the arc on the angle, how wide it is. Fourth point, the fourth, um, the fourth step is to use the measurement to draw the new pink, green, and blue lines. Okay. So then use the measurement to draw the new pink. So basically you're doing little arcs away from each line and marking it with the same color. If I was away from the blue, mark it blue, away from the green, green, away from the pink, mark it pink. The next step is measure the distance of each vertex to the point. That That's so that you can find the position of each point because they they don't have the same this the same measurement away from from point P. And finally, it says mark the point with same distance for the same color. And basically, that's how you can just connect the points and make the new shape. Okay, so. Again, maybe you can pause it so that you can copy them. And now let's do a different way. Um, unfortunately, I think it's gonna go a little off, um, off the page. So let me see if I can just kind of like add some paper. Hopefully it won't slide. But this is what the student, what the student did was to put it on the vertex away from the point and this keeps opening a little bit on me so hopefully it won't open because it's important that you keep it at the same distance okay so away from P you're gonna create Kind of like a semi-circle, okay, because it's not that big, the, the angle. And we're going to do the same thing here, okay? Then, I'm going to open it for B, because that's the next closest to point P. And I'm going to create an arc away from that as well. And so, I'm going to do the same thing here. And finally, I'm going to do that for point A. Uh, making sure that it doesn't move. Okay, let's see. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing here. And that's where there is a little bit of problem, as you can see, because I have to extend and I had to put a, um, I had to put up another paper so that it, you would be able to have the three arcs in there. So I'm going to have to extend this to be able to measure how wide each arc is so I can move it. Okay, so in here, the next step is to measure how wide, and that's for the closest one, so that's for C. That way you can find the new position of C. So it's on the smallest arc, and I just closed them in, sorry about that. There you go. It's right there. So that's, if this was C, now this is going to be C.
prime. Okay, for the next one, the width of the next will be B. So I'm going to measure the width of the second arc. And away from B, B is going to move to this new position. And I'm going to make that, I'll make it pink. So that's going to be B prime. And finally, the third one, the new position for A prime is right there because that's how wide this is. So that's how wide, that's how much it's going to move. And so this is A prime. And now I'm ready to connect the points. And so that's the new position of my triangle. Okay. Um, maybe it seems a little bit more visual because you're, you can see how it's transferring over these um, arcs, right? Okay, so you decide which one is easier to follow. If the one where you draw all the lines, draw the two arcs, and then find how far away each line should be, draw the new lines, find how far each point is on each line, the same color, and then you're ready to connect. Or if it's easier to, from P, draw an arc and draw the same length on the on the angle. Point A, oh no, point B because that's the second away from point P. Draw an arc, draw the same arc over here. And then finally A, which is farther, draw an arc, draw the arc over here. And after that, all you have to do is how far should this arc be? Mark it in there. Point C. How far should this be? Open it to that size and mark it in there. Point B prime. How wide is this? Mark it in there and that's A prime. Okay, decide which one is easier for you and choose it so that you can work on 10.4. Bye bye.